all right everybody welcome to your yet another ECMA script 6 tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be talking about how you can extend your class in ES6 to inherit functions or rather methods and properties from a different class so let me just quickly get rid of this area thing right here and instead of this what I'm gonna do is create a draw function so this draw function would say that if validate shape or let's just get rid of this validate shape as well because you might want to implement that in a real web application but right now since I'm in control I'm not gonna pass any goofy data so I'm gonna directly say if shape this dot shape name equals square I'm gonna say document dot write div class or let me just say div style width as this dot dimensions zero and similarly height as this dot dimensions zero div and uh, yeah that's pretty much it then else if this dot shape name equals rectangle then what I want is the same thing but actually with this one being one all right else if this dot shape name equals circle then what I want to do is I want the width to be this one and basically divided by 2 or no probably multiplied by 2 because we are passing in the radius and uh, the oh, the semicolon should not be there and uh, I want the border radius to be 50% all right so, wait a minute. Yeah, so now we're good. Okay, so now this probably looks like a normal application, but let's just view it in the browser. So my shape dot area is draw reload. Okay, so now we have this semicolon right there. And uh, div style, we probably don't want that. Width is 20. Let me just then append a px as well to these. Hit reload. Now, as you can see, uh, we need height as well. So, these sort of little things are not ending up right now. Height equals this dot dimensions 0 times 2 and uh, here we go oh again we are missing a pixel right there okay so finally we have got a sort of circle but eventually we cannot look at that and the reason is that there's no color in fill with that so what we can make use of is either just implement it in right here or we can just create another class let's just say this class is my color and uh, this has a random method of let's just say getting a random color so i'm gonna say var colors equals red green blue yellow pink black some sort of colors so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna say get random color and right here i could just probably write that right here i'm gonna say return a random color out of this colors array 
so first of all let me just think about the logic so we're gonna say math dot random all right so it returns us a number between 0 and 1 so I'm gonna floor it down somehow but I need to first of all get it into a particular digit so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 yeah so if I just multiply this by 6 we get a sort of number and every time 5 2 so you can see that this range is probably from um, 0 to 5 actually so and the reason is that the number this math.random could never be equal to 1 because that is exclusive of uh, you know this math.random is never equal to 1 so it would never hit 6 actually so that is why if I just floor this down dot floor math dot random times 6 then this would always always be between 0 and 5 and not actually between but inclusive of 0 and 5 so let's just make use of this so I'm gonna say return colors and something like that so now what we want to do is I want to extend this class and uh, I'm gonna say now this means that inherit all of the properties and methods which are public and actually available for sharing to other classes from this class and now what we can do is actually we can make a call to this method right here and to do that we'll need to make use of a super so what the super means is that the super class is a class which you are basically inheriting from so let me just go here and say right there that I want to have a background of let's just say this is super dot get color get random color actually so make sure you include that word super otherwise your class would try to look this method inside its own scope and therefore it would not found it find it then I can just copy and paste this thing right there and uh, probably we are done right so if I just take a look in the browser okay so we have got some syntax problem right here oh this should be extends actually reload uh, this this is not defined very well and the reason is probably we want to call super first because if you don't call super then your class the class which you are from extending isn't properly initialized so now as you can see we get a nice little circle which is randomized in its color using these colors for now actually you can just create a better random function by using the RGB or hex value and then randomly selecting it currently I'm just doing a array selection so that doesn't really make sense now I can just change this dimension to let's say 100 so that it looks much better so now as you can see this is a random shape with a random color every time and sorry for that sudden zoom in because f5 right now doesn't act as a refresh when I'm recording so I can just change this to square as well and all right height there's some sort of problem with height so this would be pixel and pixel reload you can see we get a nice little square as well down there of all the colors possible then you can change this to rectangle as well and with 100 200 
or basically 200 and 100 might look better reload and here we go another rectangle with different sort of colors so I'm gonna end this video when the next red comes in here we go so here we go now well that's how you pretty much make use of extends right here to extend methods and then you have to call that in your constructor so that any constructor which is right here is actually called but currently we don't have any sort of constructor for this class so nothing is happening right here then you have to make use of this super dot blah 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 whatever their method or property is to get that and yeah that's pretty much it and that's how you do make use of another class and extend it into your ES6 one so that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching